What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about color. For more tutorials like this, select the color playlist. You'll find several helpful tutorials. I'm going to show you how to make all the colors. They're all made with FDA approved dyes. The dyes must be bloomed first. See here are examples of non-bloomed versus bloomed dyes. To bloom the dye, simply dissolve it in water first. Mix 15 milliliters of hot water and 1 fourth teaspoon of dye. You can dry it on a base powder like cornstarch to make color powder. For the best color powder tutorial, click the icon or keep it as it is for liquid color. When to use liquid versus powder color. I created color powder specifically for bath bombs. It doesn't activate the mix. You can create multiple colors from one batch. It's easy to achieve an exact shade or to make custom colors. It's awesome for making pastel shades, etc. I recommend using liquid for soap and for whipped or creamy consistency formulations like whipped soap, body scrub, lotion, etc. Now I'm going to show you how I make the colors. I used primary colors for the following combinations. The recipes are measured in drops. This one's a great bubblegum pink. This one's the perfect orange. That's the perfect gold. And this is the perfect coral color. And here's the perfect aqua, turquoise, teal, emerald, green, and lime. These colors make the perfect magenta, purple, violet, royal, and navy. You only need the primary colors, but these colors are also worth investing in, especially the hot pink. It's also worth noting these colors cannot be replicated, or at least I couldn't. Amethyst and hot pink create bright magentas, purples, and violets. Hot pink and red 28 create bright magentas, fuchsias, and pinks, like my favorite colors. I included this section just in case you'd like to experiment. This recipe gives you just enough to make half of a 1.5 inch bath bomb. <laughs> 